about what you're going to say to him? I've thought about it and I've thought about it. I still don't know. That's where it all changed, Sammy. It's just all so surreal. This is the worst thing you've ever done. So you know they told you he was killed in action? Really? After the Leviathans, when your brother was trapped in purgatory, you were here with a girl and a dog. You didn't even bother trying to find him. You know what? Not that I have to defend myself to you, but Dean and I promised we wouldn't look for each other. Right, and if he never came back, he'd be fine. But he did, so you're not. Whatever happened to the Sam Winchester who was bold, decisive, and ready to sacrifice for the greater good? Right here. And so why did you let Dean talk you out of closing the gates of hell? Because the old Sam never would have done that. Not ever. I didn't. No, wait, wait. Here's my personal favorite. Is you doing every stupid thing you could to cure the mark, even after you knew it would go bad. My brother was dying. Yes. And you'd do anything to save him, and he'd do anything to save you. And that is the problem. Because of this, you're so overcome by guilt that you can't stand to lose Dean again, and he could never lose you. And so instead of choosing the world, you choose each other, no matter how many innocent people die. You're going to lecture me about hurting people? You? You know I'm right, Sam. You know it. And I know that if you're going to beat the darkness, you have to be ready to die. You have to be ready to watch the people you love die. A long time ago, you could have fought the good fight, kid, but... Not anymore. You can't win this one, Sam. You're just not strong enough. And you are? You snapping necks and cashing checks is what I do.